Okay, this video is about making function file in MATLAB and this is how we will do it. On the top left corner you will see this new icon. Click on this arrow and you will see a function. When you will click it, you will see an untitled script file in which you have created a function. The other way is just uh, create a new script file and type function and end it but here you will define your output variable and input variable just like this okay so in this function you have two output variables of this function and uh, input variables are these two input variables they named it at input arg1 input arg2 and the name of this function is untitled this function has no name okay let's create function here you type function and then you type your output variables so let's say we are creating a function which will return area of square as an output and it will take side of a square as an input so i will define my output variable for example a i only have one output variable and i will name this function like it is creating a uh, it is calculating area of square so I will say area of SQ and it will take sides as an input. So for example, input variable is X. You can name it uh, any alphabet here. Inside the body, you will use these input variables uh, to find this output. So we all know that how we find area of square. It's simple A is equal to X eric X or X square. So this function will create area of square and return the user who have whoever call this function uh, by inputting the side of a square he will get area of square as an output here is an important instruction while naming your function please keep in mind do not name it as any built-in command of matlab for example there is built-in command of matlab to find the sum so you will use sum do not use the built-in command as your function name. So your function name should be unique and it is different from any built-in command of MATLAB. Whenever you uh, use the built-in command of MATLAB as a function name, the MATLAB will give, give you error and it will display you to not use that name because it is already a built-in command of MATLAB. I hope that makes sense. So this is a simple function which is calculating area of square. Now the next step is to save this function. I will do control S and you will see it will save the file with the same name as we titled it there like area of SQ. Do not change it because whenever you call this function you will use the same name. Okay, I save this function and it is saved in this current folder uh, MATLAB lab and I can call this function because I am in this current folder. So the next step is you should be in that directory where you, your function file is placed. Now I can call this function in command window or I can call this function in any other script file also. Let's, uh, let's see how we call the function. So keep in mind we do not run the function. Whenever you run the function it will give error. We always call the function. Let's do CLC player and I am calling this function now. The name of the function in area of sq and there will be output i am defining output variable area and i will call this function area of sq in small and i am giving a side for example i am giving 4 into it so it will give me giving me the area is equal to 16 because inside the body of the function it's doing x carry x let's make another function file which will calculate area of rectangle so I'm creating a new script file. I'm typing function and then uh, output variable will be again be one, uh, one output variable area. So uh, the name of the function, let's say I'm naming it as a area of rec. And there will be two input variables because in case of rectangle, you have two sides, length and width. So let's say L and W are two variable and I'm ending this function inside the body of the function I will calculate this a based on two input variables which are l static w and that's it 
try to use semicolon uh, inside the function file because whenever you call the function file if you do not use the semicolon it will display that output also uh, which is inside the uh, body of the function so let's call this new function that we made but we haven't saved it yet to save it i will do control s and i'm saving it as area of rec it is by default naming it as area of rec and i should do it like that now i want to call this function with two input variable for example i am uh, having x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 7 a length and width of the triangle now i want to calculate area of rectangle in area for example and i'm calling this function area of rec area of rec and there will be two input variables which i stored in x and y and this will be the area of this rectangle so that's how function file work and that's how we call function we call function like we call built-in command of matlab so functions are like our own commands okay so now let's make a function which takes one input variable and two it will give two outputs for example this function will give you uh, the area of circle and area of uh, area of a square based on the input so i'm naming it as area one and there will be only one input uh, like side uh, this x will be treated as radius in case of area of circle and this x will be treated as side in case of area of that square so let's see i am ending this function now how i will calculate a1 because a1 is my output variable a1 is for example area of a circle area of circle is pi r square so pi pi small is by default pi in matlab and r is like in x so x square or I can do 2 times x. I will semicolon it and I will use a2 which will calculate area of a square based on this x and now I will call this function. Before calling I have to save it function with I have to save this function with control s and name it with the same name that I used here area 1. now whenever i call this function i should know that this function has two outputs this function gives two outputs so i have to introduce two output variable when i call this function like area one comma area two and then i will call this function which is named as area one and i will give side for example i'm giving six to it so you will see that area one will give me area of the circle and area 2 will give me the area of the square if i call it with one output variable let's see what will happen it will give me the first thing only not the second one because i am calling only first output variable right okay now let's see how we will call a function in a script file for this i will make uh, two new functions like this function was for area of square this will also definitely work for uh, okay no it will not work for area of rectangle because in case of area of rectangle there are two input variables so this function is for area of rectangle and let's say you make this function only for area of circle okay and it take output variable is a for example let's say if input variable is r you will use r here not x okay we have three functions now i am making a matlab code in which i will use these three functions let's see okay new script file in this file i am taking three things as an input from user for example first x as an input from user i will say enter you can use any variable enter side of Okay. and next i will say 
enter another side. This is just a useless code, but we are learning uh, about functions on. So in next, I will say input enter radius of a circle. Okay. Now in this code, I will uh, calculate the area of a square, rectangle, and circle based on the function files that I created earlier. Okay. Okay. I am displaying one thing like the area of square is, and then I will call the function. Okay. Area one, and then to calculate the area of square, the name of the function is area of sq, and you will give the input which user gave you in this variable small x. And I'm not semicolon this because I'm not using semicolon because I want to see this output. Uh, I want to see this output on the screen. Next, I'm using the display command. The area of rectangle is, and then I will call rectangle function for this. And you know, for area of rectangle, output is one, but the input should be two. So area of rec is the name of the function x and y. I will give it as a input. And next, I will display area of circle is and then uh, let's say we are storing this in variable area 3 and then uh, area of circle function name is area 1 and I am giving R as an input because R is stored here and that's it when I will run this code I'm clearing everything when I will run this code uh, I have to save it. We can save it with any name, for example, task 3. Okay. When I run this code, it will demand an input from user. For example, 3 is the side of a square, another side is 4, for example. This, uh, this doesn't make sense, but we are just learning functions. And for example, radius of, of a circle is um, like 6. So it will uh, give me area 1 and area of square is area 1 9 area of rectangle is area 2 area of a circle is this so it called these functions and then gave me the output make sure your this uh, script file is in the same folder in which those functions are placed those function files are placed I think that's all about functions in MATLAB if you are new on this channel, please hit the subscribe button. See you in next video.